the original Sun Lo Mi Fan. Hi, it is a Friday morning and you're watching Great Speed Eats. And we're here at Honglin Market, the food centre, to talk about Hong Sing Handmade Fishball Noodles. Hong Sing Handmade Fishball Meatball Noodle. The stall is one of three fishball noodle stalls at Honglin Market. But out of the three, two of them have long queues, and uh, Hong Sing is one of them. This stall is actually a branch of their main stall at Bukit Merah View Food Centre. The father runs the main stall, while the second generation runs the outlet at Honglin. And they specialize in fishball noodles where the fish balls are actually handmade. So come let's have a taste. Mi pot can te liu kai. Yao lan jiao ma? Yao yao yao. So I'm back with a bowl of fishball noodles. The prices are 4, 5 and 6 as of 2021. I ordered the $6 option which is the most expensive and you get a bowl of noodles obviously and you get 10 fish balls. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's right. 10 fish balls. In this case it is 6 fish balls and 4 meat balls. I'll explain the meat balls in a bit. So before we go on, I'm going to tuck into the noodles first otherwise it will get soggy. Very long. It looks good. Mm. Wonderful. It's got a right balance of savory, spicy, and pork lard flavor. And the chili sambal is actually properly spicy and it's very slightly sweet. And there's lots of lard oil. And I think I taste a little hint of black vinegar. I'm not too sure. As for the chili sambal, right? It's also nice that there are also little bits of ground up dried shrimp which you can actually taste while you eat the noodles. You see, dried shrimp. The noodles are nicely springy and I can never encounter any clumpiness. Like. Now, the noodles are good, but the main reason why you come here is for the fish balls. Oh, here's the inside. Their fish balls are handmade at the store every day. And as with a lot of old school fishball makers, right, their fish balls have a higher than usual salt content. So they've retained the traditional method of using salt as a preservative. They are of a standard fishball size and it comes rather springy but it's kind of like a soft springiness, not a hard springiness. Factory made fish balls are incredibly springy and there are some handmade fish ball noodle stalls where they make their fish balls um, a little bit too soft. Like. You know, this one is right in that middle. As I said, a soft springiness lah. Now the other item they also give out are these meatballs. They're absolutely wonderful. Okay, they are meatballs in inverted commas. It's basically fish paste mixed with maybe a little bit of mincemeat and tipo, dried sole fish. They are included in every bowl and they are addictively good. It's got a complex savouriness, it's a little bit more earthier and richer in taste and of course it's got that tipo flavour lah, which is kind of like a smoky fish flavour, very slight, very nice. Now the soup. Mm. The soup is nice and it's got a rounded slight sweetness. The savouriness is actually a little bit higher than light and you can actually bump up the savouriness and make it more complex with the addition of tang thai inside salted vegetable so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some noodles half a fish ball let's say and that's where the beauty of this stall actually comes in it is actually when you mix the fish ball and the noodles together okay so when you eat the fish balls on its own right it's a little bit on the salty side but when you pair it with the noodles, right, the savouriness is just right. 
because the noodles is a bit lighter in flavour, the fish balls are a bit salty in flavour, and so it balances out. Lah. It's very nice. So taking another bite, this time with the meatballs. So when you pair their meatball with their noodles, right, the overall taste is saltier, but it, it never gets salty. Well, just FYI, they do add a bit of uh, vegetables in the soup, but the longer you leave it in the soup, obviously it's going to wilt and wilt and wilt. Right? So, vegetables. So you don't need to feel guilty. Now there is a sliced chili and soy sauce on the side, but frankly you don't really need it, because the saltiness is just right. By the way, they also give up pork lard, as any good fishball noodle shop should do, and it's wonderful. Okay, done. So that was a very short look at Hong Sing Handmade Fishball Meatball Noodle where the beauty of this stall is obviously their handmade fish balls and the noodles are nicely flavoured too but the real 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 beauty is the fact that they actually work in conjunction with each other and that is a characteristic I find that most good fish ball noodle stalls have Would I travel half across Singapore to eat at this place? Yes! It is a cautious yes because there are actually quite a number of good fish ball noodle stalls in Singapore more than you think like so you don't need to travel all the way here to eat it if there's one reason which would make me come all the way here, right, it is really for the unique uh, texture of their fish balls and meatballs. Lah. It really has that very nice middle ground texture, lah, which is very hard to find in a lot of fish ball noodle stalls. Lah. So, thanks for watching another episode of Greg's Meat Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment below, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.